this is Elise. Thanks for joining. In this tutorial, you'll learn more about text editing in the editor. To edit an existing text box, simply click on either the text in the marketing piece or the label under text boxes. This will highlight the text box, allowing you to make necessary changes. To move a text box, click on the text box and position your cursor over it until the cursor changes from a pointer to a four directional arrow. Click the text box and drag and drop it to its new location on the marketing piece. To add a text box to your marketing piece, click on the add button in the main tool section and select add text box. To delete a text box, select the text box you'd like to remove and click on the Remove button in the Article Text Management Tool section. To resize a text box, click on the text box and grab one of the four corner points. You can change the height, width, or overall size of the text box by dragging and dropping any one of the four corner points. To rotate a text box, click on the text box and move your cursor over the green circle located on the top of your text box. Your cursor will change shapes from an arrow to a round arrow. You can then click and drag the circle to rotate the text box around a central pivot point. Aligning text boxes is a great way to make your edited marketing piece look more professional. To align, select the text boxes you'd like to align by holding down the shift key with each additional selection. After all text boxes are selected, the alignment tool section will appear at the top of your screen. To select the alignment option that will work best for you, imagine a rectangular box drawn around the outer perimeter of all the text boxes you've selected. You have the options of left, center, and right align, or top, middle, and bottom align. In this example, we'll select align center. To move a text box above or below any other editable element in your marketing piece, select the text box. In the main tool section, you're able to select either layer down or layer up. Layer down will send the selected text box one layer down from its current position. Layer up will bring the selected text box one layer forward from its current position. Please be aware that certain backgrounds and other locked elements in marketing materials cannot be edited or modified. Layering tools only apply to editable elements. To change a font type on your marketing piece, highlight the text you'd like to change. A list of available fonts for the template you're working with will appear in the text editing tool section. Please note that specialty fonts are not available on all marketing pieces. To change a font size, simply highlight the text you'd like to change. The current font size will be displayed in the text editing tool section. And select the desired font from the drop down menu. To change the text color, highlight the editable text you'd like to modify. Select the new text color from the text editing tool section at the top of your screen. You can highlight text by selecting the editable text you'd like to modify and select the highlight color you wish to use. To cut text from a text box, first highlight the text you'd like to cut. Then click the Cut button in the Text Editing Tool section. The highlighted text will be removed from the text box.
You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control X to cut text. To copy text from a text box, first highlight the text you'd like to copy. Next, click the Copy button in the Text Editing Tool section. You can then paste this text elsewhere on the marketing piece. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control C to copy text. To paste text into a text box, highlight the section of the text and cut or copy the text. Next, move your cursor to the position where you'd like to paste the text in a text box and click on the Paste button in the Text Editing Tool section. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control V to paste. To spell check the text in your marketing piece, first highlight the text you'd like to check. Next, click the spell check button in the text editing tool section at the top of your screen. If any spelling errors are found, you'll be alerted in a pop-up window. Select ignore or ignore all to dismiss the suggested changes that the spell check dictionary has made for you. Select the Add button if you wish to add the word to your spell check dictionary. Select Change or Change All to accept the highlighted suggested word in your marketing piece. To change text to Superscript, highlight your text and select the Superscript button in the Text Editing Tool section. To remove Superscript, highlight the text and click the button again. To change the text to Subscript, highlight your text and select the Subscript button in the Text Editing Tool section. To add a special character or symbol to your marketing piece, start by selecting the text box where you'd like to add your symbol. Position your cursor where you want to insert the symbol and click on the Insert Symbol button in the Text Editing Tool section. Next, select the symbol you'd like to use by clicking on it. To add an active hyperlink to your marketing piece for email or online marketing, highlight the entire text you'd like to turn into a hyperlink. And then click on the Insert Hyperlink button in the Text Editing Tool section. Next, type the hyperlink you'd like to use in the space provided and click OK. To remove an active hyperlink on your marketing piece, highlight the linked text and click on the Remove Hyperlink button. To change the paragraph alignment of editable text in your marketing piece, select the text box and highlight the text you wish to modify. If no text is highlighted, the paragraph alignment will only apply to the section of text in which the text cursor appears. Select one of the alignment buttons in the Text Editing Tool section at the top of your screen. This button aligns text to the left. This button aligns text to the center. This button aligns text to the right. And this button aligns text to both the left and right margins, adding extra spaces between words when necessary. In this example, we'll align text to the center. To change the spacing between paragraphs in a text box, highlight the paragraphs you'd like to change the spacing between. Next, click on the Paragraph Spacing button in the Text Editing Tool section at the top of your screen. You have the option of selecting single spacing, one and a half spacing, or double spacing. In this example, we'll select one and a half spacing. To find and replace text, first click on the text box where you'd like to find your text or phrase. You may also highlight a section of text if you're only looking for the word or phrase in a specific area. Then, click the Find and Replace button in the Text Editing Tool section at the top of your screen.
Here, you're able to enter the word or phrase that you're looking for. Clicking the Find Next button will find and highlight the text or phrase in the text box you are searching. Clicking the Replace button will find and replace the text or phrase you were searching for with the new text you've designated. Clicking the Replace All button will find and replace all instances of that text or phrase you were looking for in the text box that was selected. And that completes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.